There they are! Intruders! This is your big opportunity. Make sure you show them that you're still alive. Rascal, your very existence is a fact. Go out there with confidence. Oh, I, I know that, damn it. Just watch me. I got this. Can't you see this? You low-class demons! Look at the skull mark on my hood! This proves that I am Death and Measel, the only son of the President of the Netherworld! Right here! Me! I'm Sora Measel! Look! I'm still alive! You sound so desperate. Ah, <sighs> to be young again. Aw, Desko is jealous. She wants her own trademark, too. No way! Sura Measle? Yes! It's me! Ah, oh, cool. They finally believe me. Psych! Did you really think I'd fall for that? How dare you tarnish the name of poor dead Sura Measle, you impudent brat! Hey! But I am a Measle! See? Of the skull? That looks too generic. I don't think they're gonna buy it. So a trademark should be unique. Desko will take note of that. It is unforgivable to take the death of the President's son lightly. You are hereby sentenced to death. What's wrong with you, Rascal? You can't change anything by looking down at the ground like that. You were killed once by their false news, and now they'll kill you for a false crime! Are you going to allow that, Rascal? Shut up! And stop calling me Rascal! I'm Death and Measle! Fine. I'm gonna prove to them that I'm still alive, even if I have to drill it into their brains! <laughs> That's the spirit, Rascal. How thoughtful of you. You possess such an undemon like quality. It is one of your formidable powers. Nothing but ninjas. Um, this is one of the most straightforward maps in the whole game. Just beat up the ninjas. Or office workers, as, they, as they're calling them for this intents and purpose. Um... Actually... Anyway, um, before I get started on the class, which is going to be the ninja, since that's kind of the theme for this chapter, um, I want to point out some information that, uh, nice guy by the name of, yeah, by the name of Kadele, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, I'm not quite sure, um, but he, two things, he said that, um, Valvatoris, who I went over last time, um, his attack increases by 5% for any enemy defeated by anyone. On the whole on the whole map not just him so he's even crazier than I originally thought he was uh, Wow and the other part is the heart cannon only really um, can only uh, bases off your counters actually uh, Valvatores and Fenric have high counter rates but if you put someone to the heart cannon group that has no that has a 0% chance of countering here I come like a cleric um, they wouldn't attack at all so, um, if you have 10 counters, you could do 10 counter hits in the, um, I mean, you could do 10 hits with the heart cannon, um, but your counter is the maximum, apparently. So thanks for pointing that out. Nice to know. Alright, and, uh, let's go over the ninja. Ninja are a hybrid fighting class. They combine survivability and damage output. They're not the kings of either, but having such a high chance to evade makes them a good choice for lucky players. When you compare ninja with fighters and knights, you find that other characters survive well in average fights, but they have a hard time standing up to tougher bosses. Those are the encounters where ninjas shine the brightest. No matter how tough most enemies are, it's still possible to have the ninja dodge aside and keep fighting. Because there aren't many tough fights early on, you can afford to hold off on creating ninja until the mid-game. 
Fist weapons are the most common selection for ninja. This is because fewer main uh, line classes use fist weapons, so there isn't as much competition for the high quality pieces that drop. In addition, ninja are fast and can sometimes get around enemies. Fist attacks let the character reposition enemies, so having a fast character with a fist gives you more options to aid the rest of the party by knocking enemies towards your force, for example. Um, my impressions overall, ninja are more annoying to fight, but not so handy um, on, in your ranks. Uh, I mean, here's why. Um, okay, they can learn poison and stun, whatever. They learn skills with fists, swords, and stabs, and yeah, fists all would be the best because of their natural good speed. So, uh, let's get into that. Their aptitudes are, at the base, the Genin is 80% for, is, uh, 80 for HP, SP 120, Attack 100, Defense 90, Intelligence 110, Resistance 80, Hit 90, and Speed 120. Uh, so overall, kind of weak, if you ask me. Uh, then there's the Chunin, the Jonin, the Oniwaban, the Toyo, and the Shadow Master. Um, Shadow Master has HP of 90, SP 145, Attack 125, Defense 100, Intelligence 135, why do they have such better intelligence, I wonder? Um, resistance 90, hit 100, and speed 145. This is a very odd combination of aptitudes, since you're most likely to give them fists and their attack is average, maybe even a bit below. Their speed is great, however, so average together, um, they'll be good, but their abilities don't lend to doing damage. Um, Misty Haze, their innate ability, uh, gives the character a 50% chance to evade when attacked from the front. Um, so that means there are three sides you can attack from with no evasion uh, boost. And the enemies in the maps are almost are always going to face you, so this is really more useful for... The, the, this is why they're annoying to fight. Um, you're, when in the item world, you can get attacked from all angles, and yeah, it, if you if you dodge, it's nice, but if you get hit, they're ba they're bound to die because um, their HP isn't even a hundred percent. Here I come. And they have average defenses. It they're just hard to hit, but easy to kill. If that makes sense. Um, and it's not a damage ability, so you're going to find yourself struggling to kill stuff. Uh, let's see. Sharp Eye, the next ability, increases the chance of a critical hit by twenty percent. Uh, handy, and since it's early, might as well learn it. Uh, Vision Blur nullifies all damage when this character is nicked. You know, yeah, that that's where the luck comes in. If I'm not sure what the chance of being nicked is, uh, but you know, no damage is better than some damage, so handy. But again, even if they live, what are you gonna do with it? With with the class itself, I, I don't know. And then the Killing Hand. 30% of base speed is added to hit when a fist weapon is equipped. What? Um, the only reason you'd want hit, I mean, you don't use it in your attack calculations. Hit would, is only have, helpful for hitting other really fast enemies like ninja. You see what I'm getting at? Um, ninja, or, you know, male fist warriors used to be better in, in older games. Uh, yeah, I think they were stronger back then. Then again, in Disgaea 2, I just used Adele as my fist user, and in Disgaea 3, um, I used Adele again, actually, when he was DLC. I, uh, I, I mean, uh, what, what's his face? What was that chef's name from the third game? He was okay, but I liked Adele better, and he had a much better ability, natural ability, which you do more damage against single targets. So, that's the ninja. Mediocre, if you ask me. I, I don't use him. Damn it! If this skull doesn't do the trick, what else can I do? Do you see how superficial your authority is? At least you got through their security. If you want to, you can just go home now. You don't have to say it like that! You're the one who told me I could clear up the false news if I came here! 
Well, I lied. Now that we've gotten past their security system, we don't need you anymore. So, so, so you were only using me? That's right. You were used to further the achievements of our Lord's regime usurpation. You should be honored. You tricky bastard! <laughs> You're flattering me. Oh, uh, then does that mean the report of my death won't be changed? Have you been paying attention at all? We came here to take control of this place! Once that's complete, we can easily correct the false news. I, I see. Then we just have to defeat the Chief of the Bureau. Wait, that's right. The Chief. I just have to talk to her. The lackeys only know what the newspaper tells them. But the Chief should be another story. I'm going to let her know that I'm still alive. She should be able to overturn the false news. He's failed every attempt he's made so far. Doesn't he ever learn? Inflicting some trauma might help him learn something. Shall we, Big Sis? Well, nah, I don't think we need to go that far. <laughs>